Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 6th through the 9th, Monday through Thursday, for my Libras. Hello, my Libras. How are you? Well, two Radley Valentine decks. I'm using my Archangel Power Tarot cards for my main message, and then I pull one, or try to, from my Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? Okay. A lot of energy has been going on. You know, that Saturn and Mars going into Aquarius. It's like sweeping things away. Aquarius is air energy, your energy. Then we had, um, you know, on the 4th, uh, we have April 4th, 2020, 444 energy going on, which is, you know, I, I, I like that one. But we also had Jupiter and Pluto in conjunction. Both were in Capricorn. That was the 4th and the 5th. People talked about portals being opened, so, and, and, you know, interesting with that. We have something going on with Venus. Venus is more connected for you. Uh, then we have on the 7th at 10.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have the full moon starting in Libra. So, there again, we are in the middle of this pandemic. We have all these other, you know, this sweeping, clearing energies going on. But then your full moon, Libra, that will help to bring a little bit of balance. And, and now at the same time, a lot of time, what, you know, full moons do make people a little more emotional. So be aware of that. People can be more emotional, but it could also be something that's very needed. Now, one card has, um, has did pop out. I have three cards face down. The first card popped out. The second and third are reversed. That's strong energy. I am an intuitive channeler, and what that means is that I open myself up to my higher power, and whatever the message is, it just comes through. I want to, again, as always, thank everyone out there. Thank everyone, the es essential workers who are leaving, and you know, you are unsung warriors, heroes. Thank you. The people that are staying home, doing our parts there, thank you. It's not That's not easy either. None of this is easy, but we do get through it. We do get through it, and we have to hold on to that. So let's see what Monday through Thursday looks like for my Libras, especially that full moon. Now remember, that's the time. Release, relinquish, request. Release what's holding you back. Relinquish what you don't need anymore and request because that's okay. People, some people say go three days before through three days after. I would say since this is on that late 7th, I would say 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th is a great time to get out there and put that out. I don't say to worship the moon, not at all. It's a divine creation. So I look at it as a way to reach out, a little bit stronger way to reach out to my higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, whoever that is. Okay, first card. Four of Ariel, Ariel energy, Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. And, you know, it, that, that four again, we just had those four, four, fours, you know, that Saturday energy. So, you know, a lot of that has guardian angel type of uh, messaging for you too. So take a look, look that up on the internet. But this is recipro reciprocity type of energy. This is you, okay, I, you know, I told you it's solid energy. It could be something or somebody you can touch. It could be your home. It could be money. But this is, you know, the more, this is about you giving and receiving and receiving and giving. So this could be, you know, many of my, many people are going out there, um, you know, they're, they're giving, they're, they're putting themselves at risk. So this could be some, you know, some reciprocal type of, um, money coming back to you you know you've we've heard about hazard pay that people should be paying you know hazard pay it could be possibly that but it could also be that you my libras are going out of your way to do something a little bit more a little bit different um you know they're my libras you um you could be organizing food drives you could be taking you could you know you might know neighbors that need you know that are in need and you're going out to help them you know, it could be very much, um, you know, very uh, much, um, I don't want to say volunteer type because it's not, it's not so much that. 
I mean, but you could be or you you could be organizing and you could be putting together, you know, blood drives, um, things that are needed. Um, getting, you know, it, it's that type of energy for my Libras. You're ex, you're expanding, you're extending yourself, and in some ways, you're you're extending yourself so that you can help others. Okay, okay. So this is for of, um, of Ariel. When you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change, extremes in how you save or spend money. I do feel, though, that this is you, you know, you finding a cause, seeing that there's a need. You, you know, you saying, no, things have to change. You know, things have to change. It says you're being resistant to change. Now, that could be the people that um, should be staying home and they're still going out. So that could be you too. Now, I, I don't feel that so much for my Libras. I feel it's more of a case of you looking to see, you know, in the community, in the in the city, in wherever you're living, in wherever you're working, is there a need? And you seeing and you figuring out how to meet that need. Okay? It's working well in a crisis. Here we go. Next card reversed. The Queen of Michael. Okay, Michael energy, your energy, Aquarius and Gemini energy, thought processes, hearing news. Now, the Queen is, is very kind of take, yeah, the Queen, yeah, I know that the King seems to be the one in charge, but a lot of times it's the Queen that's in charge. And this is, again, my Libras, this is your energy. This is you knowing what needs to be done. Again, I feel like it's this is, this is a time that you see, you see that there's a need and you know what needs to be done and you activate it. You pull it together. You get the resources for it. You may not necessarily be leaving, you know, you're probably not leaving your house, but it's like you're on the computer, you're on the phone, you're getting things done. And it's like there, you know, we, you know, and it could even be if you are in management, you might be kind of figuring out a way to keep your employees or keep the people that report up to you in a safe in to keep them safer okay i feel again you see a need you figure out what needs to be done so and this is this week type of energy the queen of michael brilliant self-reliant insightful humorous you know exactly what to do but the benefit of experience a time for your career rather than relationships and it's not, I, I, it could be something definitely to do with your work career. But again, I feel like it's, you know, in time of crisis, you know, you, you might be getting petitions started. You might be um, sewing masks. You know, I mean, it's like you see this need and you're activated. It's like there's something that's going to be activating you, and especially since this full moon is in Libra. This full moon, and I'm not going to say that you're not going to feel a little weepy or a little teary, but you're going to basically say, I need to do something. What can I do? This is what I'm going to do. Okay. Your last card is reversed. And here we go, the Knight of Michael. So, again, it's that, that air energy. And the Knights are, like, focused. And I'm going to go do it. So, again, I said, you know, I figure it out. There is a need. I see a need. And I'm going to, I need to figure it out what to do. And now I'm going to go and do it. Whatever this is, it's like you just... You take it and you run with it. You run with it because it has to be done. And Libras, you cannot stand the inequality. You cannot stand that that a simple solution is not being thought of or is not being implemented. I know I'm kind of I'm really feeling a very activistic type of activist um, type of spirit. It, it's like. No, this ha you know it, it's like this has to be done. This has to be done. I know what needs to be done, and it's going to be done. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to be curing the pandemic. Hey, but maybe you are. Maybe there's some Libras out there that are you know figuring all of this out. But again, I, it's like you see this big void, and you know how to fill it. Okay, so the Knight of Michael, strong, committed, intellectual, diligent. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion sudden changes so this you know whatever this is it makes a it makes it makes a big change but the thing is remember with all this energy going on we are you know our normal we're never going to go back to what we knew as normal it doesn't mean that that's bad there is a new normal on the other side of this and it will and, and, it, and we will get used to that too but again um you know my libras I really feel 
you taking a lot of action. And it's, it's you know, I kind of feel like, you know, I'm going to write that wrong. Um, you know, I would almost say Don Quixote type of spirit. I mean, but I don't think that you're fighting windmills. I actually think that you're actually making, you will be making a difference in whatever this is that you do. And even if you make a difference to just one person, it's still that person you made a difference for. Okay, this card, one card, it is reversed. Here we go. The wheel, the wheel, Archangel Michael, warrior angel, protector angel. Okay, head of the whole, the whole kebab, you know, the whole thing. And here we go. This is a 10, 10's transitional. The wheel is moving forward. And again, there's a lot of, lot of movement and, and maybe it's because of your full moon, um, you know, all the stuff. But remember, that Saturn, and it's clearing and sweeping things, and it's now time for you to move, and it's positive for you. It's a positive change. The a time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. Tens, transition, getting rid of that old, going towards that new. So is it because of the full moon in Libra? It could be. But again, you see that there, you, you see what the problem is. You think of the solution and you act on it. And because of you, things move forward. Okay? There. So, my Libras. Yes, the energies have been really bizarre. But, uh, you know, they've affected me too. But I will be Sunday going through my comments because it mean, they, they all mean so much to me. You all mean so much to me. But my Libras, as always, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.